Hey YouTubers, this is uh, Tony Sarumoro. You know me like Papa Ryder. Uh, today I did the oil change on this 2015 Kia Sorento SXL V6 uh, front-wheel drive. <clears throat> uh, there is a couple of videos that show how to reset the, the oil service, the, the light, the reminder that tell you when you have to do the next oil change. So the dealer recommend 7,500 miles. If you have money and you don't care, you can do it or don't do it, the oil change at all. But if you're one of those people that you work really hard to, che to get a, a nice car like Kia, and the dealer says you have to do it 7,500 miles to change your Oreo, or 5,000 miles, don't do it. If you really care about what you earn with so much work and work hard, do it at 3,000 miles. Let me show you how. Okay, so we're back in the car, inside, so we're gonna press the button twice, okay? And then it's gonna show, see the, the way uh, this is, is this, the 2014, I, I believe it has a button right here where you can play with it. But this 2015, it has the button right here. We're gonna use these buttons to do the whole thing, okay? Okay, now the, you need to press, uh, this uh, nut button right here on top, and we gotta go into, uh, and then you gotta play up and down this button, and then we gotta go into service. Let's see if I can. Service, see? You gotta scroll this button up and down. Look in there. Go into service and then press down. Okay. And then, as you can see, it says right there, do it at 3,700 miles. When I drain the oil out of this vehicle, believe me, inside the engine, I can tell you, it's, it's muddy, it's, it's bad. It's really, really bad. It looks like uh, people who owned the vehicle before don't care about this car. Okay, because they're rich people. They just want to use the car, beat them up, and, and sell it like a brand new. And now these people buy this car without knowing what's going on. And they do the oil change every time that reminder light comes on and says, hey, it's time for oil change, okay? So you got to screw this button, scroll, scroll this button down into a 3,700 and press OK. Okay. And then you gotta press OK again. And then you gotta press OK again. And then scroll this button. If you wanna do it uh, 3,000 miles, well, but, you know, I recommend these people to do it because the oil come out really, really muddy and really, really black. Like, you know, like they forgot to do the oil service. So. We got to do into, uh, you, you got to scroll the button down until it goes into 3000 and then press OK. And then, um, OK, let's do it again. OK, OK, and then boom. Now it says right here uh, 3000 miles or three months. OK, and then you got to go up. And then press again, so right now it's set up for 3,000 miles, okay? So, if you, we go back, save it, yes. Okay, it's all done. This is how you reset to 3,000 miles, so you don't have to damage your engine. Because if you take it longer to do an oil change, okay? The, the, the mechanics, the dealer won't tell you, but you really damage your engine. If you hear about people say, or mechanics saying, no, that's not true, blah, 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 and bullshit, 
it's up to you if you want to listen to them or not okay but right now the way i drain the oil on this vehicle it was completely black and believe me it was bad so i will tell my customers that every three thousand miles we gotta service the engine uh, and we got to use uh, five way Teddy synthetic oil. That's what I recommend on this vehicle, and that's what the dealer they can recommend on this vehicle. If you go to Jeffy Louvre and Louvre and all those places that charge you $30 for the oil chain, it's up to you. Okay, it's up to you. If you want to pay 30 bucks for your oil change and service it and all the garbage that they sell you, it's up to you. But this is how I'm telling you that you will damage your vehicle and damage the engine. Believe me. Okay? If you have any questions or comments, please leave some. Okay, bye-bye.